Hey everyone, in this video we have a drawer device, very simple to set up, very simple to use. You just come here, open the drawer, um, get your item, and you can then close back the drawer, open any other drawer, and by the way, it's connected up to triggers, so that when a drawer is closed or opened, you get notified that it just have happened. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, hype, subscribe, and share. And if you want to access the assets or the code file directly from this video, you can check our Patreon in the description. So let's continue with the video. Hi everyone, in this video we have a drawer device which is very straightforward and very easy to use and set up. So we have verse device with just one field, which is an array that you can fill in your drawers. So, you know, up to how many drawers you want. And each drawer can have, you know, a varying amount of drawer slots in it. So in this example, we have four. So for each drawer slot, what you do is you set up the prop, you fill in the prop of the drawer slot, you fill in the button to open that drawer. Uh, you fill in the move offset. So like what is the distance that this slot should move? And then you can fill in optionally, you can fill in uh, open trigger and close trigger. So these are going to be um, triggered uh, by the um, verse device when this drawer has been opened or closed to inform the user. And that's the same thing for all the uh, for the, all the other drawer slots. Very easy to set up on the verse device. And when it comes to setting up uh, the prop, uh, so you know, again, like this could be any scale, this could be any size, and you could have as many as drawers as you want, and you could have as many as drawer slots in one drawer uh, you want. An important thing here is to make sure the drawer slot is a child to the drawer, and then the button for the slot and any item placers inside the drawer are also a child to the drawer slot so when the slot is moving uh, they move with the slot as well um and you know you can use actually any kind of uh, any kind of assets uh, 3d assets that actually have like a base part and a compartment part a slot part like this uh, uh, and that would work with this worst device. But you know, if you want to, if you happen to want to use ours, you can check our Patreon description and that way you can also uh, access the code file directly. But nonetheless, I'm gonna show you the um, code file, which, you know, you can guess actually, it's actually pretty straightforward um, uh, because, you know, you can see from here that it's actually a very simple worst device. So let's get to it. You know, it's not even 100 lines of code. Uh, so we have our drawer slot data here that we have seen. Uh, in here, we are uh, on the initialization. We are listening um, to the button event. And when the button event comes, um, we are moving the drawer. So we are keeping a state. And depending on the state, we are either opening the drawer or closing the drawer. And when the movement is done, we are looking at the state. And depending on the state, we are either triggering the opened trigger or the closed trigger which, you know, informs the user of the, you know, the events, drawer events that has just happened. And uh, actually, this is the this is the main device, and main device actually does nothing than just um, initializing, initializing the uh, drawer, uh, you know, drawer slots themselves uh, at the start of the game, and that's it. Uh, the drawer slots handle the rest of the rest of the stuff. Yep, it's pretty simple, you know. Not even much to show the entire thing. You know, it's simple, but it's re really um, useful. Uh, really useful, especially for, you know, when you want to, um, like, place, like, loot or items in your game, but you want to kind of hide them. Uh, hide them in the sense of, you know, they are not visible uh, from the outside when you are, you know, just looking around. And you actually need to go in and, you know, interact with stuff to find them. Um, so that's actually really um, powerful and commonly used in like horror games or puzzle games. But I can also see, you know, it could be also incorporated into like shooter games or any games that you want to, you know, hide any loot or items. You know, as you know, obviously this actually. Um, so let me show you. Um, 
So this actually, you know, works a lot better in FPS camera, but you know, it still works, uh, I think really well on um, 3D camera as well. But obviously, you know, especially depending on the size, um, uh, it could be a bit trickier to use um, on like third person camera. Uh, but, you know, you can always scale it up or down to uh, match your desired size. Uh, so you can, uh, so here you can see the trigger. So when I close it, you can see that the closed trigger has been triggered. When I open it, the open trigger has been triggered, notifying the user. So you can bind those stuff to anything you want. Um, and yeah, that's all of it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, hype, subscribe and share. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, comments uh, what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.